came back from Rochester and everybody, the doctors here, were surprised at how quickly I healed and how completely I healed and yeah, they couldn't really believe it. So I thought, if this reflexology stuff works that well on me, it's got to work on other people too. So I had to take some time off to recover from that big surgery and I thought, okay, well, there's no sense of me sitting on the couch and you know, watching TV. So while I couldn't go back to touch a country to work quite as vigorously as I was before, I could go away to start getting my training in reflexology. It was what can I do now that isn't going to have me standing on my feet for so many hours a day. That's what I was thinking. What what can I do now? I still had plans to go back to touch of country and work at work as much as I could, but I knew that I could offer somebody, so I guess that's the answer to the question. I've always known where there was a void. I've always been able to pick out what people need, what people need. Where is there a little spot that there's something missing and maybe I can provide that to them. So that's how, that, you know, that's how I got to be an entrepreneur. And, and then I was certified. And I mean, that was just basically, right? But that was enough to at least let me hang up the shingle. And I thought I might do two or three people a week and um, have my retail store still, because they were located right across the parking lot from each other. And that didn't last for too long because as soon as one person came and spread the word about how good reflexology made them feel, people kept coming and they told somebody and they told somebody and three more people. and. Before you know it, I was making a decision whether I wanted to stay doing retail, which was pretty stressful, you know, at the time, always is in retail, um, or did I want to go across the parking lot and help people to feel better and um, expand that business, expand my knowledge, and so that's what I decided on. I love the flexibility. That's one of the things that I love. Definitely there is a little bit more flexibility than having to punch a clock from nine to five. Um, but I think it's the pride of ownership. I think it's the pride of ownership that I love most. We have a small community. Well, I mean, not that small, 110,000 people. But we have a community that knows each other and, and they know your name and they know if you do a good job and, and the word of mouth spreads and I take pride in, in being an awesome reflexologist and having people call and say, you know, you helped my friend or you helped my aunt or you helped my, you know, can you help me? Can you do something for me? And knowing at the end of the day that that's my shingle out there, you know, 